Howdy doody. How's everyone doing? We're back on with the carousel. Let me just uh, get open a see what's going on. Yeah, we're looking okay. I'll just mute that. What uh, are you doing? Right, okay. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to DPJ's SMD Carousel. Okay. Uh, <laughs> right. Sorry about the delay. Right. Um. I've gone for the second design. I've tried to get this on to a bit. Perspective's a bit out on this camera at the minute. Sorry about that. Right. I'm just through the process of putting in a, another screw. So let me get that done first. I've got to be careful because it's all to get held together with. Um, it's all held together and there's ball bearings in the middle of it. So I'm just about to, I've got to hold it together, put the washer on. Now you're going to like this one. Now I've gone for this one that's slightly smaller. Okay. Let me just... I'm going to put a lock nut on this one. So I've just got to tighten it up. Now you need a lock nut because um, hold on. There it is. You need a lock nut because you've got to <laughs> adjust it just right to have the the bearings. Okay, so I'm just going to tighten this up. Now I've got one. Uh, this is me just changing the pin over with a lock nut. I'm using a lock nut on there. Can you see that one? Alright. Sorry if it's not in focus. I don't have any way to focus this. It just picks up. It's automatic. Right. So I've got to be careful. Uh, let me just see. This is a... It's trial and error. If it's too tight you just undo it a bit. Now uh, let's just give it a go. Um, let's have a look. Let's pop it down. Now, is that too tight? That's too tight. Not, not too too tight. If you may, if you know what I mean. It's not way too tight. Just a little bit too tight. So let's undo it a bit. That's why we've got a nylock nut. Um, so we can adjust it. Now this one has got no bearings whatsoever. Uh, apart from a ball bearing that's used to locate. Well, I'm just going to loosen that off a little bit. A little quarter of a turn at a time. Um, I've altered my sound today because I had some filters on to cut out fan noise. But the problem is when I was running my CNC behind me. The it was cutting that noise out as well. Yeah, it's still a little bit tight that. Yeah. Better, but still a little bit tight. So we'll undo it a little bit more. Now I've got a nice piece of uh, magnetic rubber mat to go on this in a minute. Now I've got to try to cut it out. This sh the same shape. Now, uh, my intention is to load this up today with, with a few uh, surface mount stuff out of my 
of my reels it's still too tight I want it tight because you don't want any gap at all for your surface mount components to be able to jump out into a gap so right I just want it just right okay it's got to be able to spin see that I've got a bit of a I don't know what it's called podium I suppose which the rubber mat it's not bad actually it's not bad uh, it's not bad hang on It's still a bit tight, so let's go a little bit more. A little bit more. Get it right, because I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to fill this up and take it apart again, if you know what I mean. And uh, that's not what I'm going to do. Now I could have done with this circle. Right, let's try again. Yeah, I think that's going to be a bet. Yeah, that's it. That's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. Right, I don't know whether you... Maybe you can hear it clicking away. Right, so... I'll try and get... The lighting is not brilliant here, I've got to admit. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, the, light, the lighting is not brilliant. Anyway, I thought I wanted to show you. I'm not quite set up exactly right for showing you stuff, but um, right. So, uh, right, rubber mats time. Oh, I've got this. It's got a bit of. Uh, this is my rubber mat. Right now it is magnetic one side. I've got to make sure I get the right side. That's the side. One side isn't magnetic, and the other side is magnetic. Now I don't know whether it matters if it's magnetic. It might not matter because um, if I put a circuit board on it. Got a couple of circuit boards here, um, and they're made. They are made with like uh, they're coated with like a solder. Now I don't know if they're now they're not sort of doesn't stick to it. I thought it might stick to it, but it doesn't stick to it. Uh, I tried it earlier. It doesn't stick now. Uh, we can try some components to see if they stick. But what I want to do is I want to finish this off and then lo load it up. So I want to um, I want to cut. I need a circle cutting out to go over there. That round that round podium bit in the middle. So I, I forgot about this before I tightened it up. I was going to use it to as a template to cut this out. So what what's the next best thing? I don't even know if it'll cut with a standing knife. This stuff. Um, hmm. Well, I've got my standing knife. I've got my standing knife. Um, right, so. I'm not very well prepared, I'm sorry. So, that that's my podium. Actually, I did cut it out of something, didn't I? Cut it out of some plastic, but I'm not sure. I was I haven't got me laser machine set up so when I got me CNC you can't really CNC rubber I, I wouldn't have thought it'd just make a right mess I would have thought so how can we do it I suppose I could get a bowl of the, or a saucepan lid or something that's of a similar size and let's just open the let's move that to side for one minute Let's get uh, the design back up. I'll show you through that design. 
yeah, I, have, I didn't go for the first one. I went for this smaller, slightly smaller version of it. Reason being, because um, I'll show you in a minute. These are nice and clear. See that? The bottoms are clear. So if I move that there, look. You can see my finger. There's, it's not horrible and milky like the previous design, which is a bit of a chocolate fire guard at the minute. Um, I've even nicked the feet off it. It's heavy, really heavy as well. Right. I still like this design. I'll just put it on top of here a minute. I still like this one, but I put loads of bearings in it and uh, swivel bearings, and there's really no need for swivel bearings. I mean, not, you don't, unless you want it to take off. Yeah, there's no need. And uh, see the uh, see the mil the milky see the bottoms there where it's milled out because you're milling the pocket it, it, you get that horrible residue I don't really want to put my surface mount stuff in there it's clean but I was going to get some epoxy and mix it and clear and then maybe colour code it I might still do that yet so this was the one that's bigger with a different design access from all areas I decided I didn't want to it's, it's another option so let's put that over Way. that's a big big option on that there's a lot going on there let's put that away so that that's heavy anyway and this this one is a lot lighter a lot lighter and a smaller profile and there's less there's less bins in it actually but to tell you the truth it's, it's more than enough bins I think there's more than enough bins here, so if we there's two ways to operate this. You can either hold, hold all three. Well, I've got to tell you that there, I've I've glued, I've plastic glued um, these first three. They treat this three as a layer, because the one is the the bottom of the pocket, and the other two is the height. I've got a dual height, so you've got five mil, and you've got five mil with a cutout, and another five mil with a cutout. And that gives you ten mil pockets, and you've got a clean pocket. So, as you can see, you can see straight through it. So that's the better, the better option for me, anyway. All right. So, um, let me see if I can find a bowl or something to cut that out. I could I could do a drawing around that. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want to cut it out with scissors in case it wasn't quite accurate. There needs to be a spray adhesive or something that make it sticky and stick it on. Um. Yeah. It's a bit a bit of a pain. Um. Talker to do really. So, whether I do it, I might. Yeah, I want to do it. Yeah. So anyway, you got uh, something like that. It's a little bit sticking out there, a tiny bit sticking out. I need to just get the drill and go down a little bit with that. So it's probably going to need to come off again anyway. To tell you the truth. But once the rubber's on, it'll. If I take it off, let me. I suppose I could take it apart. I take it apart and just nick the top off to use as a template to cut round the rubber. Easier said than done. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna have a drink. Let me have a drink. I'm I'm not on cider today. I have had some cider, but I'm on this Fanta. Zero f sugar Fanta. Anyway, sorry. I've swapped my cameras round as well. The one that's looking at me is just cheap cheap and nasty one and my other one is looking down at the table so um, 
Yeah, you probably can hear some fan noise in the background, but better than cut cutting my vo voice off. Right, so I'm going to take it apart. I need to mill down. Hang on. Did I finish milling it? it? Depends if I put my drill bit away or that. Did I put the drill bit away? Yes, probably. Yeah, I did. No matter, I got it back again. Right, that won't go in there, will it? No. God, it's warm today. Very warm in the UK today. Right, I'm going to take it apart because I, I do need to draw around it or something. I need to use it as a template because I don't really want to mill out what another one. I've just tidied up all the mess, so let's just do this now. Right, let's undo this, take this apart. I've got to be careful because, like I said, all the ball bearings will fall out. There's only four ball bearings in this. Four ball bearings, four screws. Sorry, four springs. And it's quite a clever design, modular again. I shouldn't say it's quite a clever design because it's I made it, so I shouldn't, shouldn't say that it's clever. Anyway. It reminds me of an old fishing. I used to get these fishing um, weights, little lead weights, and I'm pretty sure their their design was based on a little plastic thing that you could turn and get to the segments. Right, so I'm just going to lift this out. Okay, this bit is just a podium for the rubber. It doesn't actually. And it's also a recess, um, it's a recess for the screw. But I need to, I need to mill it down a bit more, it's just sticking out, I don't, I want it to be flush. So I'll tell you what, let's do that now. And I've just got a screw, uh, a drill bit and I'm going to do it manually. I'm just doing it manually, so. I did, uh, make it with a pocket but the pocket was too small so I'll just uh, this is the, this is this trouble but I, I'll alter the design slightly this is a bit it's almost impossible to give out G code um, that works on everyone's CNC so that it does take a little bit of course you can't I can't I don't think I can la laser a pocket. You can cut it straight through, but to laser a pocket might might be able to if you alter the strength. But you'd have to try it out first on a bit of scrap before you went straight away. You might have to alter the. Um, I know I I've engraved a rubber stamp before now. Uh, you get a bit of rubber, and that doesn't go all the way through, so. You, you know, so you can alter the depth. So maybe you could I'll have to try it. I, I've got a couple of laser, and there's K40 laser engravers. So I've got a couple of them. Uh, none of them are set up at the minute, though. Yeah, none of them are quite set up. <sighs> right, let's just see if that's flush now. See if that says flush. Is it flush? Can't really tell. Is it flush? How can you tell? Let's see. Might be flush. I suppose you could look at the light edge on here. It looks flush. Yeah. Tell you what, it looks flush, but I'll go a little bit more. I don't want to keep uh, this is a bit I don't like it's to keep adjusting it and trying it it just takes all the time up and then these normal drill bits they're no good for milling 
Right. Okay, so that, that's going to be that. Now I need to draw around it. Let's just get the mat out and I'll draw around it. <laughs> oh dear. Hang on. Get the flat. I, I don't want to waste a lot. Well, I won't worry about the waste. It's just... Um, um, I'll just try and make it easy to cut. Right, let's get a pen. What have I done with that pen? There it is. Mr. Sharpie. Right, there you go. Um, I think I'd better bring it in a bit, hadn't I? I would have a bit of waste. Or shall I? No, I'll tell you what, I won't. I don't know. I'm making this up as I go along, you know. And the trouble is that I can't see above it. Mind you, let's use the camera. I've got to make sure I don't press the wrong key here on my keyboard and suddenly stop streaming. Because this mat is leaning, see that? It's leaning on the keyboard. <laughs> Problem. Let's get over to the edge. Alright, let's get over to that edge. Get over to this edge. Because this. It's a circle, but it's um, it's got 20, it's a polygon, 20 polygons this is. Right, here we go, I'm going to draw around it. Okay. Oh, I'm actually drawing on the stuff as well. Shit, oh well. Maybe it's a good thing to do. Maybe it's a good way of finishing the edge off, just colour it in. I've got some silver and gold gold sharpies that might do a good job. Anyway. Right, I've just got to move my hand round, go around this side. awkward isn't it? They are either kitted out for doing certain things not kitted out for others so anyway is that going to be it? We'll give it a go. Right Sharpie go away lift this up what we got? Yeah we've got a circle okay so I'm gonna move that mat out of the way before I stop the streaming Alright, I'm going to clean, clean this up, put it back on here, and line it up a bit, right here, yeah. put the bit back in, sorry, not the bit, the, uh, the bolt, it's a brass, brass screw this is, uh, turn it over, don't, uh, don't let it go apart, and put it all back together. Okay, so I need the. I've got to try and hold it still without it falling apart while I tighten it. A little bit. I don't think a robot could do this. No, apply enough pressure to hold it together without all the ball bearings coming out. Right, so get in. How's that tight? Don't know. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see if we've gone too tight. No, we haven't gone too tight. Not too loose either. Does that spin? Mm, it will turn, but it won't sort of spin. But a little bit too tight, maybe. But it'll free up when when you use it, won't it? Yeah, it's a little bit too tight, so I'm going to take a little bit off. Just a quarter of a turn, maybe. Quarter of a turn off. That's it. Now I want it tight so all the layers are tight together, so none of the surface mount stuff. We don't want no... You don't want to split it, lift it. Lift a little bit. 
Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. All right, that's worked out okay. Let's see if I can spin it. It's a bit like a combination lock. Can you hear it clicking? It's a little bit tight, so but you have to listen for the clicks. That one locks in. That locks in. This one. Yeah, it locks in if you go slow. Yeah, it locks in. Right, that's just, that was just a bonus anyway. Oh, what did I do here? I've painted my... i painted the surface with the pen. <laughs> Good old Sharpie. I bet it won't come off now. It's warm weather today. Is it coming off? Sort of. It's coming off. I don't know Sharpie on it. I suppose you could write the component values in Sharpie, but then if you change it, I shouldn't be changing it. I'll only ever, um, I'll only ever use the same bits. Me. All right, that's that. Okay. Let's get rid of that. All right. Okay. Let's get the. Uh, I need scissors. Do I need scissors or do I need? Well, I was under the impression I had scissors. Did I have scissors? Not, no, not with me. Okay, so I've got a Stanley knife. That's going to be hard to cut. It's easy to cut with scissors, isn't it? All right, so can I cut that out? I'll tell you what, I'll go and get some scissors. Yeah. I'll just make sure I've got the right side coming. Yeah. That, yeah, see that? It's got the. Uh, it's magnetic. Okay. Right, so I've got the right. the right side. Uh, I'll go and find some sharp scissors. Always get your sharp scissors ready before you start streaming. Yeah. No, we'll just do that. I've got cutters and nothing else. Right, okay. I shall have to disappear a minute. Give me a second. I'll be back in a second. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Right. I found one pair, then I found another. So let's try. Let's try with this pair first. These are horrible to hold. 
Well, it's supposed to be for left and right handed people. They're no good for either. That's one, one way of avoiding the problem. Just make them so they don't fit a right hand or a left hand and you can't say <laughs> you can't say they're made for right handed people. Right, here we go. Here we go. I'll try and cut it. I can't see a lot. This the light is awful in here. I'm just going back the uh, actually you won't be able to see it. Right, here we go. This is gonna be rough so <laughs> <laughs> Every time I put the scissors in, it blinds blinds the view. Right, what happens if you cut magnetic rubber? It doesn't set on fire, does it? Right, okay. Okay, so that worked. Uh, I'll take I'll take it off uh, bit by bit. In the form of a hex. God, the lighting is awful. The lighting is terrible. Mm, it doesn't work out too good. It, it cuts pretty easy. I'm trying to cut it with the hex, like like it, uh, you know. Um, I suppose what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut it out of this big square first. Here we go. Let's just cut it out of this square. Um. Oh, let's cut it out of here. Things you have to do, eh? You have to do. You have to do every which way. CNC is not enough, programming is not enough, F writing firmware is not enough, uh, designing circuit boards are not enough, um, what else is not enough, <laughs> building it, writing the software, doing everything, writing a website, writing the amount of stuff is ridiculous disciplines you have to do to mind you it's my own fault I should get people helping right here we go I'm just going to cut this out there manually now it's not going to be great because I keep blinding myself with the scissors what I could do with some scissors that got the light torch on Uh, so awkward, isn't it? Stress, stressful doing a little bit of a job like this, cutting a circle out. Can you believe it? Anyway, we're getting there slowly, slowly. Alright, bear with me. Okay, a bit more. Ah, I thought it finished and we still got a bit left to do, look. That's not brilliant. Not brilliant, hang on. Cuts quite easy. Alright, is that enough? Nearly. Okay. Right, that's about as good as it's going to get. Right, let's get rid of all these little bits of nibbles. Magnetic pieces. It's funny, I thought it was thicker than that, and when you cut it, it's surprising how thin it is. Right, we're getting getting closer and closer and closer. We're getting closer and closer and closer. So I need some adhesive now. Stick that on there. That's luck in the business already, isn't it? Right. Is 
that's it. Okay, let's just spin it round. Oh, you can spin it round there. Yeah. I know it's not a circle, but it was never meant to be. It was meant to be a hex. 20... a pentagon. Pe polygon, sorry, not a pentagon. Polygon. Anyway, so... Let's just turn it around. Right, we're all lined up now. Oh, no, we're not. What's the world done wrong? Hang on. That's it there, is it? God, this is uh, gets confusing. All right, no. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Where's the hole gone? It's gotta be here somewhere. Is that the hole? Yeah. Here we go. So. <laughs> Right, let's put a let's put a let's put a um, couple of boards on. Why not? There you go. Put a couple of boards on. That's they're fifty fifty mil fifty mil. So that's a hundred by hundred board. So it will take a hundred by hundred. One of my hundred by hundred boards. Okay, and this camera's not doing a very good job. Sorry. With the lighting. Anyway, so we've got we've put the light nylock on. We've cut the mat. Uh, I will laser cut one of these properly. The whole thing will be laser cut and the mat. So I've got to get some more plastic first. All right, so um, yeah, the angle's slightly off, isn't it? Anyway. Yeah, you got the idea, but that's uh, this is focusing on something else, isn't it? Uh, can I do a manual focus? I thought I thought I could. Hang on. Let's see if I can do a manual focus. Uh, uh, is that it? No, no, I haven't got the software on this one. Not got the software on. Anyway, I was going to show you the design, wasn't I? Let me just go back to the design again. All right, I was going to turn this camera off on it. Okay, so we've got I've got the design back. All right, let's show you where what we've got to. This is the one that I made with some some kind of acrylic plastic that was really awful. Anyway, this is the new design. But it's another design. Not sure which one we got. This just make both. Excuse me. Oh, just yes. just make both. Sorry, tired. Um, right. So this one. Let's just have a look. Yes, yeah, so we've got three layers. I've grouped three layers. Uh, let's get into the right. So the, the first layer is this one that's flat it's got the whole the the three mil holes in no 2.8 mil plunged holes for the four mil bearing to sit on four mil hole and you've got the pockets that go all the way through it's showing you it's showing you these extra two because it's a comp I made it as a component so just showing where they are okay so I'll come out of that now the second layer is this one here it's exactly the same but it's got cutouts all the way around and these two it hasn't got the 2.8 mil bearing recess it's got instead a 4 mil recess and to tell the truth I had to open it to 4.2 with it with a drill manually because the 4 mil bearing wouldn't wouldn't s drop in and out of it so this needs to be changed to 4.2 that's 4 mil these two are 4.2 so what you do with that you, you drop in your bearing and your spring and another bearing on top and you've got another one the same again here uh, you can keep adding these if you want a bigger pocket you keep adding more of these so I've got two uh, in this design here I've got two 
so I've got the bottom and I've got two complete cutouts which gives you 10 mil pocket so total is 15 mil because I'm using 5 mil polycarbonate okay so and the next layer it's actually showing it wrong because it's um, I didn't. I ran out of plastic, so I made the next one a shallow. Let's change that. Actually, let's just uh, get rid of one of those. Yeah, that's what I've got. So I've only got five mil on this. That's okay because the the bottom layer is for larger components, and this top layer will be for the little uh, LEDs resistors capacitors, all the you know little um, tantalums and stuff like that, polyester stuff. Okay, so now I need to bring the whole thing down. And that I need to just move it down to there. That's it. And this reflects the design I've got on the table here. Just save that. Okay. So basically, all this can be. Let me go back over here. All this can, all that can be made with just the just these two different designs. Well, two different layers and this podium bit. So you can make as many layers as you want. It's up to you. And all all I do is. Um, hang on. What I do when I'm assembling it, once you cut all these out, I just get a, a spot of um, plastic glue, or I forget what it was now. It's I suppose it's just uh, I, I've used this stuff, I've had it for years. Don't know what it is. Um, let me go back to the other view a minute. Hang on. This stuff is just uh, draper glass sealant. I think it's just silicon. Let's have a look what it says it is. Uh, doesn't it tell you what's in it? Probably not. Well, it's, I think it's silicon or some kind of glue. Might have been better to use silicon because at least you can cut it with a knife and pull it apart. So, there's Tyler adhesive sealant for durable, flexible and waterproof seal so it's probably just silicon sealant a tub of silicon sealant that is okay so basically all I've done is I've gone into here uh, I've literally just squirt a bit there on all four corners and then all you do is you put the top layer on top of that if you're doing three, you'd have to do put another squirt on that layer as well, and then uh, press it all together. Put your pin in the middle. Try and line it up as best you can. Wipe the excess glue off or sealer, silicon, and you've got to leave it 15 to 15 minutes to an hour or 24 hours, and that'll be it. And that stops these spinning because this is a it's three pieces, but it's in this particular in scenario that's one unit that spins all together okay so there's that and then we got we've got the same again uh, just to glue glue them together spot of sealer there 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 and there and you're you're away yeah okay and I didn't want circles I, I wanted them like this so I could you can use the angles you see if I go back on here you can move the angles you can line it up you can show the stuff off the camera's awful sorry I, I don't know if it'll put any more light on probably won't make any difference so I need to glue this rubber mat down right so ready to put a few components in I've got some tweezers handy um, right let's just sh get rid of that a minute Everything okay? Yeah, still going live. Yeah, go. Okay. I'll have a sip of this. 
Ah, dear. Right. I've been, uh, been to my electronics lab. Stroke. Hobbyist. I'm going to say hobbyist. Okay. Now I've got this tub. It's got a few of my reels of surface mounting. So I've got to be careful I don't press the escape key. Alright, so I've got a couple of um a couple of tweezers. Let's move that out of the way. You've got to be so careful when you live stream, you could click the wrong button and you stop. Anyway. Right in here is some bits and pieces. Okay. Now what what's in there I'll forget now. But it's basically what I use to build uh, build these. Stroke build where's the other one? These these little all in this uh, just TFT display. Yeah. Okay. So that's what you can see. That's what you can. See, that's what you can see on on here. So anyway, I'll just go through a few. Um, I'm not gonna. Un I'm not gonna unload five thousand reel into there. I'm just gonna put a few at a time. So I'll put that out of the way. So we're gonna attempt to load some bits in here okay we're going to try to load a few bits so how do we load them so uh, you've got to decide first where you're going to put them and i'll put sort of let's say 10k i'll put a 1k here and a 10k there resistor and then I'll put, um, unless I go around, it doesn't matter. I think I'll go up in value, logically. I don't have many different values. I have a 4K7, I have um, 1K, 10K, and um, I think that's it in surface mount. Let's have a look at what we got here. Uh, BSS138P, whatever that is. What is this now? I forgot what it was. It's transistors. Yeah, the transistors. I think that's what I use for my um, logic level conversion, I think. Yeah. Alright, what else we got? Got a load of these um, these Octal Darlington drivers. But I p now, d would I fet put them in there? Now I'd leave them in the packet. Then I don't want to fill them tubs up with them. So you got it's, it's not for everything, right? We got. Uh, I think these are LEDs. Got a strip of LEDs here. Are they LEDs? Yeah, LEDs. I think. <laughs> Can't remember what they are now. LHR974. Sure they're LEDs. Yeah, some of this stuff's tiny. I'm reticent to put it in there. But that's the whole idea of this thing. Right, okay. What else we got? What we got here, let's have a look. Looks like, oh, these are in short, short supply, I think. I'm pretty sure somebody said these, um, the chip shortage. No wonder, mind you, it's not many, I haven't got many. These are uh, 3 volt 3 regulators analog regulators I think yeah 
an A something one 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 one. So I've got a few of them. So you could you could pop a few of them in there. That wouldn't hurt, would it? Tell you what, let's do that. They're not going to hurt by being out them regulators. Okay, so I've got a few. So I want to do. I going to go in a deep dish and see what the dish is like. Hang on, a bin. Yeah, I definitely need a deep dish. So uh, the regulator. Let's have a look. So let's push it over to there. Okay, so that's quite a deep dish, isn't it? There. Now, now you only put normally one on each circuit board, so it's not. I don't want to be readily readily available, if you know what I mean. So I need it at the back, really. I need to, I need to put this. Uh, Somewhere at the back. Ah, uh, let's put it there. Just put him in there, yeah. Put him in there. Right, here we go. Now, uh, there's another qu query on how you get him in there. So, right, I'm just going to get the tape. I'm just going to literally do that and drop him in. I'm going for gold now. Going for gold. My gaffer said um, I showed him it. I showed him the other model. He said, "I said I'll never." He said, "You'll never use it. <laughs> he won't use it." He said, "But yeah, I'm going to use it because the only thing is with it, you don't know how many you got left. You'd have to count them. So I'm not really bothered. As long as before, I, if I see there's only ten left, I'll just order some more." Actually works out pretty good to doing this. At least I can stop worrying. Yeah, getting a bugger. Just saying it works out pretty good. And then once it's on the top, okay. I got to make sure there's enough room. Yeah, there is. And maybe I can get this tape and get rid of it. Take this tape in the bin. There we go. This is good, isn't it? Right, no rogue one still left in there now. That's it. So that's my three volt three regulators done. Let's just bring it round. So, oh, <laughs> what happened? Yeah, how did it do that? Oh, I must have had too many in. There you go. We've well, got to push them down a bit. There's a trap for young players, me. I'm taking up more space than I thought, actually. Hmm. Okay, now I've just put. I have to put a few of there, them in the next bay. Let's put a few in the next bay, yeah. You can always double up. Um, let's use some tweezers. <laughs> oh dear, sorry. It's just funny. It's supposed to be easy. Yeah. No, I need to take a few out. I wonder if they're magnetic. Are they magnetic? Don't know. Yeah, is it? I suppose what you want is three layers. You're putting big stuff like this in. Mind you. All right, let's just. Uh, okay, I can put them in there. Whoops, losing them. Where'd that go? Just under the keyboard. Get in there, you bugger. Yeah, so this is always going to be a problem. 
in the physical world. It's alright to design your stuff, but you've got to make sure it works in the physical world. Uh, anyway, let's bring that round to that's back to home position. So they're locked in there now. So supposedly, are they safe? I suppose. Let's just uh, take the mat off because that's going to drop off. I haven't glued it down yet. Let's see what what's like what it's like when you tip them up. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, that's in there. I need to spread a few more over. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll put the mat back on. This will be glued on at some point. Uh, self adhesive glue. Let's just get let's get rid of one then. I've still got some swarf everywhere. Right, okay. So no, this circuit doesn't actually use one of these. <laughs> no, it doesn't use one. No neither does the other one. Yeah, so we need to find a circuit that uses these things. None of these use them. So, it's not going to be a good example. I haven't got anything in here that... Have I? No. Anyway, I've got nothing that uses that, so we'll leave that alone for a bit. Let's find something else. Right, what have we got here? Let's have a look. God, can't see what it is. Not even labelled. What is that? LEDs. So they're LEDs. I, I don't need to know what they are, because I think they're just... Let's find a bay for LEDs, right. They'll either be green or red. I haven't got any other types, so... Where do I want my LEDs? Say there and there. Yeah. Uh, green this side and red that side, okay. But I don't know which ones they are, so I'll have to do a test when I... I'll have to put my meter on them. And see if they light up. Let's get one. Looks green to me, but you never know. Alright, there's nothing else in there. I always lose LEDs, I do. Oh, I've just, just noticed what's in here. I've just got a rogue a rogue one in there. <laughs> a rogue one left in the bag. There you go. Let's just turn this around. Let's go and get that ro rogue one. Rogue. A rogue one. Back where it should be. Uh. Oh, just fell out. Alright, where's it gone? Where did it go? There it is. Alright, there we go. That's in. So, f t getting these topped in is more trouble than using it. But once they're in, they're in, aren't they? Right, meter. Let's have a meter. Give me my probe. I don't really need to, I just need to put it on bell, don't I? Not bell. Is it bell? I forget now. Ohms, just put it on ohms. Okay. Just think I'll have this loaded up one day and then I'll be able to just build some without worrying about well, without trying to get get them all out individually. What I've what I've been doing up to now, I'll just decide how many I make and I just uh, drop uh, just peel back. That's it. Alright, so let's see if this lights up. Actually, am I conductive? I'm just wondering because it's a magnetic mat, isn't it? I 
I don't think it's conductive. I can't even see that. Am I even up the right way around? Am I upside down? I need my magnifying glass, am I? Right, magnifying glass. That's, uh, right. That's definitely an LED. What do I need to be on? Voltage. I forget now, my mind's gone blank. Mine's gone blank, hang on. Does it need to be on bell to get a... <laughs> it's basic stuff I should know, but I forgot. It's Friday, it's Sunday. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, so they're red. Red LEDs. I probably need them again. I? I need that again in a bit, won't I? Okay. So red LEDs. Where did we say we're going to put the red LEDs? I'm going for gold now. So, right, red LEDs. We need to put them. I'll go there. So, uh, oops, get out of the way. All right. So I want to put the red LEDs on on the top layer. There. In there, that's that's fine. Okay, red LED in there, and the rest of them. Let's peel them into there. So make sure these don't fly over everywhere. All right, here we go. You can't even see. All right, here we go. Yeah, they're coming out. You gotta be careful. This is one stuck to the tape there. They're going in slowly. You could easily sneeze and lose all these. <laughs> Well, there's no taking this apart now. Yeah, they're tiny. Can't remember buying these now. What time we got? An hour. Oh, well. Wow. And now we I seem to be stuck here, hang on. Yeah. Right, so this this bit is a bit of a pain. Getting these to go in here. Well, sort of, I suppose. You shouldn't worry about the cost of each LED. Because you're bound to lose one. If you're worried about how much one LED is, then you're worrying about the wrong things. Just imagine the uh, in a proper place how much waste they get. Alright, we're getting there slowly. So these are the red LEDs. Hopefully, oh, I've got a few rogue ones, I can see them. So, like I said, I used to pull out um, enough, just get enough out what I need to make sure they're not not sticking in there. Well, we're getting there. At least it covers the rest up, so they're not going to drop. You know, I'm I'm over the the pocket in the correct fashion I 
Okay, here we go, nearly there. Right, so let's just get rid of that. Let's just have a little scan through this. Make sure we haven't got any rogue ones in there. Still stuck in the tape. Doesn't look like it. Right, okay. So that's another load of plastic to get rid of. Alright. So. There you go. Have we got any rogue ones? Just look like we've got some rogue ones here. There's a rogue one. Oh, so it's not the best tweezer. And imagine, imagine trying to put this on the board. Okay, so they're all gone from there. Gold. Is that the lot? I'll get the magnifying glass to just check. I think so. Right. Let's put that back where it was. I need to stick this down at some point. Right, let's just have a look. I'm going to spin the whole thing around because I want to have a gander. Made sure. There's no. Yeah, they can't physically film to there. So there's nowhere else for it to go. Okay. Right, so we bring that back now. Back to the start. So we've got sealed, sealed, sealed. Okay. Starting to look interesting. So. Red LEDs, let's find let's find some green ones, shall we? Uh, what we got here? Don't know if that's green LEDs. They look bigger, don't they? Those probably is. Just make sure there's none dropped in the bag now, there's none in the bag. Like I can say my circuits are either green or red, there's nothing really special about the LED um, size, is, I think it's 603. Let's just pop one off there and let's measure it with the meter. Let's see if we can get colour out of it. Stop streaming, are we still going? Yeah. Alright, let's have a look. Okay. Right, well, I'll tell you what I've done. I've, I've moved it off. I've moved it off the sound one. Alright, so I'm going to do seven now. That's it, it's a green one. It's green, see it? Yeah, green. Okay. So I haven't got many green unless I've got some more of them. So I'm going to move this round to here. Now, my earlier design I had other holes that appear on it. This one's only got a single one and it's got, a, it's got the surround on it. Hindsight now. Uh, this is the best way because imagine exposing those small stuff oh it might be over here and you might have that one open over there so yeah right okay so that that's where that wants to go in there yeah so I've got like some symmetry to this okay here we go let's get these into there coming out yeah they're coming out 
So I've got red to one side, green the other. And tiny little things. Right, that's another that's another stuff I've got rid of. Good. Right, I suppose the only the only advantage to actually the only advantage to I suppose you could peel this la you could peel this label off and stick it on the side. You could cut it out with the RS number and just stick it on the side. Hmm, might be an option. See so the advantage of keeping them in the bag. You can always reorder them, you see. But it's the size that matters really, so hmm. Yeah. Red, green. Anyway, right, let's see what else we got. Well, that was those. Alright, LHR974. Got some more of them. Unsealed, uh, unopened bag. So they're either red or green. I, th I think they're probably going to be green. Are they the same as this? Six five four five eight one eight. Yeah, they're the same. More green LEDs. Okay, might as well put them in. Seeing as I'm here, get them out of this bag is a problem. God. Yeah, so this could take a while, couldn't it? Top for the knees up. I'd have to get a get a real one one day, a proper pick and place with the mount the reels on. So let's get rid of that. Let's take one out and just double check this is green. So it should be, it's the right code. I don't even know why I'm double checking really. Uh, just don't want no surprises when I come to build it. God, these are awkward. How did I do this last time? It's not it's not the kind of job to do if your eyes are on the way out. Yeah, so you need a uh, yeah, it needs uh, that's it. Come on out. Right, let's just make sure it is a green one. We trust RS, don't we? Come on. Oh, it's red. What? Never. See what I mean? See what I mean? What's the difference between these two then? A six five four five eight one eight L H R nine seven four L H R nine seven four. Green came out of this one, red out of this one. What? <laughs> Six five four. F I don't get it. I don't understand that. Five five eight one eight six five four five eight one eight L H R nine seven four. Right, that doesn't make sense unless I put the green ones in the wrong bag. Must have done. Must have put the re green ones in the wrong bag. So these are uh, these are green. Let's just have a look at some of these. Uh, 
Yeah, them are green, look. And this one is red. Yeah. God help me. Red. That doesn't make no sense to me at all. Let's have another one out. <laughs> right, there's another one out. It's going to be red. But I must have got them mixed up, the bags. Yeah, it's red. Okay. So let's leave the greens a minute and go around to the reds. Around to the reds, there we go. Put these in the reds. Red LEDs. This could take a while. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually I'm gonna finish this one off and then I'm gonna try a pick and place demonstrate a pick and place because nobody wants to see me sitting here for hours filling this up hours and hours and hours and I could be flicking around <laughs> oh dear anyway I've got loads of red LEDs for some reason Mind you, there's more at red that go on to the circuit boards than green. And some of them. Right, are they all out? Yeah, they're all out. I've got one rogue one there. Come back, rogue one. Okay, right, seal that back up. Okay, so we're all back sealed again. Lovely. Anyway, um, so let's see. Let's see. Um, I can't fit them. Let's put something else in. Um, yeah, hmm, I could put these in. I've got these little bags of, um, uh, well, they're not stemmer, but they're just four way. Q ST, it's not QT, what's the smaller one? Stemmer, ST, some I can't remember. Right, I've got another bag of these here, so th these can go in. Let's get them in. Right, I've got my Larlin 10-way and I've got the 4-way, so these can go in. Now, uh, that'll fill quite a box up, won't it, yeah. Right, so what I'll do, it's surface mount, it, yeah. I'll put them round the back here. Um, so let's get around there. Uh, we'll put them there. Okay, here we go. Will will it take? Will that? No, it's. What am I doing? I'm going wrong, am I? Go back again. Go all the way back to there. I need to go to the second layer. That's it. Second layer. As you you can see, the, the top layer moves around. <laughs> God, hang on. Right. So let's put them in there. Right, here we go. Let's just make sure I'm going all the way down the bottom. Yeah. Okay, dokey. Right, now uh, I can't see from this angle. Is there enough space? As you could soon tell if you move. 
not enough space. So I'll move a few over to the next silo. <laughs> They've gone from bins to pockets to silos. Yeah, you know what I mean. Bins, pocket silos. Yeah, it looks like I'll have to have two bays for the... I must have, I don't know how many I ordered. I don't think it was too many, probably about 30. They're quite big bits, aren't they? And the same problem again we had earlier. I suppose what you could do is push this, before you seal, you could put this over halfway between one and the other and they'll, they'll fall equal sides, won't they? jammed there. So. Yeah. If you put it uh, halfway, you could, um, it'll fall either side of the, uh, it should equal out. Alright, is that enough? Yeah. Okay, so that's that done. Okay, and we've got let's have another another two as well. Let's get rid of these uh, these ones. Now I'll do what I said I was going to do there. So I'll move this over halfway between two two bins and pop see if these will go in. Ready, here we go. Oh, they're going all over the floor and everywhere. No, they're not. They're just going on the desk. Right, the bag is empty. Oh, these, these take a lot of space. Alright, uh, it'll look nice, if nothing else. Put all the bits in. Oh, I've still got more here. <laughs> God, I think I need to spread them out a bit. There you go. Let's just get a few out. Yeah, they're quite large, really, considering. Or is it? Hang on, I don't think I'm. S no, it doesn't work to s to fill them both. It's not with these large things. Both both at the same time. I'm jammed now. Oh well. Care if I don't uh, might need three bays for these. Then. I can't see what I'm doing from here. Uh, okay. Right. Okay, so messed up a bit. Right, so I'll just have to take advantage of this one here. Um, and just drop them in there. They're quite big, these things. I think they're ten. Are they ten way, yeah, ten way. It's uh, ten way Lyle imports. Uh, St. Or was it Sh? Never remember. Right, that's done anyway. Okay. Right, so we've got some more stuff in there. Yeah, what else we got? What's this stuff? What we got here? Diodes. Scot Scotty diodes. Scotty. 
Scott Key Diodes. They can go in. Let's get rid of the Scott Key Diodes. So we want the diodes. Uh, we'll put them over there, I think. Is that. Yeah, there should be enough in the top there. Okay. Alright, Scott Scotty diodes. Imagine if you t dropped all these all over the floor. <laughs> That'd be funny. Alright. Okay, here we go. Scott Scott G diodes, ready? There's nothing. Oh, the tape's broke. Why is the tape broke? Uh. Tape, sna tape snapped off. I wonder if that happens on the machine. Oh, it's nasty. Come on. Oh, let's go the other way. Let me go the other way around. You can't see. This is turning out stressful, isn't it? Should be down the pub, really. Oops. Rogues got me diode, don't get. Maybe the uh, they've been. In, I've had them too long. The glue's starting to go off, probably. Nightmare, nightmare. See what stress you get. Alright. Oh. Just dropped another one there. Where's that gone? There it is. Don't wanna Don't wanna lose any components. Right. Yeah, this is uh turn out to be a bit of a nightmare. Putting these in, but anyway we'll give it another go. Okay, so it takes a bit of a while now, but it saves you time later. Do it now. Right, so yeah, Scott Scotty dot Scotchy die. I can never say that word. There's a rogue one. Get in, you bastard. <laughs> right, okay. Right, we've got some Scotty Scotchy diodes or diodes. What else we got? Po uh, 500 milliamp polyfuse. Yeah, we can put polyfuses in. Uh, does it need to be a big bin or a small bin? I think a small one would be alright. Oh, hmm, don't know. 500 milliamp polyfuse. Did you keep these from? Uh, resettable PTC 50A 15 volt, only 15 volt. Let's do it. Let's do it. Obviously, there, it's easy to count how many you got on a re on a tape like that. Right. I mean, you don't need to label these up. They're pretty obvious what these are. Right, so do I go... I'll put them in there, I think. OK. 
Okay. Let's put them in there. Here goes nothing. Polyfuse. So if you want to make, if you want to make circuit boards, you've got to go. You've got to buy all this stuff and make your cake. You've got to put your ingredients in for your cake. Okay. Are they all out? Yeah, they're all out. All right. So we've got our polyfuses. Right, what's next? Nicely sealed up. I suppose the test would be to shake it around a bit, see if you lose them, but you think I'm going to do that? No. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. What we got here? Bag of switches. Bag of tactile surface mount buttons. So, that should go in one box, shouldn't it? Right, let's, uh, buttons, where do we want buttons to, to live? Uh, I suppose underneath there. Yeah, let's get the buttons. Oh, where's the, where's the hole gone? There it is. <laughs> oh dear. What the hell have I made here? Right, buttons, tactile buttons. Push to make buttons. What the hell, unexpected maker, you've got me sat up till quarter past eleven on Sunday night, topping up my carousel. Anyway, right, they've gone in, is there, is there uh, well it's, well it's shut, it's like a sweet shop, you have to make sure you, you've got them flush. No, they won't, will they? Oh, will they? No, they're just, just, they're just smashing around there. So I'm gonna have to take a few out. So if you make this one, make it 15 mil pockets. Two, you want three layers. Your bottom pockets need to be three layer. So you've got your base layer, then three upper layers. Or to give you 15 mil of clearance. I wonder if these are magnetic. Are these magnetic? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, these are these are sticking because they've got the metal pieces. Right, hang on. Right, let's just pop them in there. Yeah, it's quite good like that because you can easily get them in. Right. Okay, so they're away. Do I need to take a few more out? Go on, then let's have a few more out. Yeah, 10 mils, not quite enough. 10 mil, not enough. But it's it works, but yeah. Okay, so back down to the front. So everything's just going around like a coaster. Okay, looking a bit better now, isn't it? With a few more bits in. All right. Okay, what's next? What we got here? TXB 0104DG4 I can't remember what they are now I think they're analogue switches or something like that or addressable something or other I'll leave them as they are and we got some tantalum caps I think have we? yeah 
I don't know what these are now, I forgot. Yeah, the tantalums. Let's really measure one. Let's see what see what they are. I can't remember what they are now. So we want uh, capacitance. Oh, meter switched itself off. Capacitance. What? What are they? Hundred and hundred. I can't remember. Four seven. Four K seven. Four um. 47 microfarads what's that? 5 microfarads 5 microfarads yeah 5 mic 5 microfarad tantalums mm -hmm. it's a funny funny size oh well don't know why. Anyway, where should we put them? Capacitors, we've got LEDs, red, red and green. Capacitors, let's put capacitors over here. Right, here we go. Let's just put them over there. You've got to keep your stuff out of the way. Okay, here we go. Tantalum capacitors. Right here. Tantalum capacitors. Probably just to stop the brown out on the SP32 and different things. I don't know if, how much 5 microfarad will. It's, it's not really a lot, really. I suppose these they go up in price. The more microfarads, the more expensive they are. Right, so we've got them in. Um, do I spill any? No. Okay, so we're all sealed up. Lovely. Let's get a few bits in there, isn't it? Right, what else we got here? Uh, what's this one? Oh, these transistors. I think they're JFETs, aren't they? JFET. Mm. Where are we going to put them? Let's have to find somewhere for them to go. They're only small. Oh, what's all that in the bottom? I've got a few rogue ones in the bottom of there. Let's find out what it is. BSS138P. I think it's a JFET. There you go. Let's give you. Switch it off. That one a minute. Oh, we've got a different screen there. So, um, B. BSS. One three eight P. Oh, so tired. MOSFET, is it? No. Uh, Farnell, let's see what Farnell's. Uh, go away. Uh, it's a MOS power MOSFET. In channel, sixty volt. 360 milliamp, 0.9 ohm, SOT 23. Okay, so it's not a J FET then, it's just a MOSFET. A FET is an N channel enhanced mode field effect transistor in surface mount. Very fast switching. Audio signal processing, power management, communication, networking. Right, yeah, that's what I use for the logic level conversion. Okay, back to the other one. Right, yeah, so they can go, they can go away. I haven't got nothing else in that style anyway. So, 
I'll just leave that. Uh, where should we put it? In this one here. Go on in. Let's get rid of it. So, so far, I haven't really labelled anything up. And I don't have a, a loads of different parts I use. I tend to stick to the same bits on all the different circuits. Alright, that's gone, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I stick to the same. Same. I just. Oh yeah, if you if you think of them as ingredients, think of as it. Think of the components as ingredients, and the circuit board is a cake, or uh, I'm just making it a, a different cake. That's all I'm doing. It's just a different cake. And that's all I'm doing, making a different cake, same ingredients. With as least amount of components as possible, different components. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be making circuit boards, and it I'm making carousels. I don't know. Well, never mind. It's got to be done. It's like web to create a website, create a business card, create brochures. Uh, None of it's to do with programming or electronics, but someone's got to do it. Oop. So, and making a carousel is just another one of those extra, it's the same as doing your accounts. Same thing, it's nothing to do with what you're doing, but it's got to be done. Yeah. Right, so is that the lot? Yeah, so these are my little switching stuff to switch. I got a rogue one there. Any more rogue ones? No. Okay. Lovely stuff. Okay. Right. Yeah, the focus is awful. Sorry. Sorry. Really not good enough, is it? Uh, right, what else we got? Reels of thousands of resistors. Okay, what's this? Okay, what we got here? I don't remember which one this is now. This is either... It's either a FRAM chip or it's an RS-485 chip. I can't remember now. Uh, Fram chip, do I want Fram chips to exist in here? Mm, not sure, I'll leave that one for a bit longer. What we got here? What's in this one? 50 volt, 100 nanofarad. Okay. What is it? Capacitor, 50 volt, 100 nan. Oh, decoupling capacitors. Am I going to differentiate them? Oh, easy. Easy. Okay. Let's put them in here. Bugger it. Alright, let's put them in here. I don't sure, I'm not sure if this is a good idea, actually. Taking all your bits out of their bags. Oh well, that's what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> uh, what we got now? An hour and 44. I think it's time I drop this on the edge in a minute. Um, there we go. I'll just put these in and we've got, we'll have got enough bits then to do a, a dry. I said I'd do a dry run of a pick and place. It can play straw run, so. Oh, I must have ordered. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I think the heat stuck the tape back together. Oh, the tape's this side, that's why. Right, here we go. OK. 
Okay, are they out? Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. I didn't have many in there anyway. Okay, let's do the let's do the trial run of a pick and place. Okay. We've got enough there to have a go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm so tired, I've had to do this quick. Right, so I put resistors on normally, but I haven't emptied the resistors out. So what we'll do is uh, I'll put these FET MOSFETs on. Okay, so we want some MOSFETs, so here we go. Go over to the MOSFET. Uh, I can turn that round if I want to. This has got to be stuck down, obviously. Now they just go down here, so let's get one of these. You're not going to be able to see this, not with the quality we've got here. So I'm just going to place them roughly, just so we've got the idea of how this system works. I'm not going to try and place them exactly. Alright, so they got four there, is that about right? One, two, three, four, no, it can't be. Looks like it, doesn't it? Okay, so there's that. Um, let's put one of these on, it's in the wrong place. Oh, LED, let's put an LED in. So green LED next. There we go, green LED. I'll run the output, the relay output, just, that's an R1, there, that's it, there it goes, and let's just put some more green ones on, they're red, the rest are, but I'll put green on. Yeah, it's not this easy when you're put, putting them on. Well, I'll be doing it under a USB microscope. Okay, so you got your LEDs. Uh, we can put a polyfuse on. What did I do with the polyfuses? Right over there. So I'll spin that round. Get the polyfuse. I've got to pull these back in a minute as well. Uh, your polyfuse will go on there. Oh, I've got two polyfuses. There we go, polyfuse. Yeah, you can't see it, it's all blurred. Anyway, it seems to work. Whether it saves you any time, I don't know. I'm going to put these back now. And I'm going to wrap it up because I've got to go get some sleep. Uh, what I'll do is I'll build I'll build a, a board, get the get the camera focused right. We'll get the USB camera on the go, and we'll build a board. Uh, let's put these back. Make right, sure put them back in the right place. Yeah, I've lost there. Uh, what have I lost? There it is. Yeah. Okay, bring that back to the home position, and that's it. Done. Okay, so it seems to work. <laughs> yeah, it seems to work. It holds the bits where you need them, and you can get to them and build your board so the, the proof in the pudding is when I try and make a few it should be alright like I say I haven't labelled nothing up but I, I've only got a certain amount of different components anyway right that's going to be it for the live stream and thanks for watching I've been Dave from UPass showing the doing a bit of show and tell is it show and tell showing off demonstration demonstration of a unexpected maker inspired 
carousel. Two two tier carousel. Bottom bays are ten mil deep. Or bottom bins. Top bins are ten five mil deep. And you've got the ability to let's bring bring that back to the home position. That's it. Oh, that's not quite the home position, is it? I've lost my home position there. Hang on. I've gone round too far. Hang on. I don't know where you can hear the clicking. Yeah. That's my home position where I can get touch the floor. Right. And you can spin that round. I've got to glue that on there. So I'll have that glued on there. I'll have a better one probably made. Trim it. And one day I'll make um, a laser version of this rather than CNC'd. So that's going to be about do it then. Sorry, the camera's crap. Everything's a bit crap. So, Dave from UPass, thanks for watching. And let me know if you watch it and leave a comment. Tell me if it's a bad idea or whatever. No, um, I'm okay either way. Oh, I've just found another couple of these. Right, let's just get them away. I'll put some over here in my. I just found another couple of them. Is there any more? Yeah, one more rogue one. No more, that's it. Okay. Yeah, so this is a surface mount device or surface mount technology pick and place DIY manual pick and place carousel okay inspired off unexpected makers the one he made 3d printed there you have it anyway magnetic mat and a podium to spin round if I could even get that centre probably not to spin round it wants to be a circle that does doesn't it really yeah so you can show off your, uh, your item they lock in position and nice and sturdy on the desk heavy so that's it okay right I'm off now thanks for watching goodbye and